finish up with um, prayer. Um, David said um, in Psalms 100, verse 4, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. So we're going to pray and thank the Lord this morning for everything that he has done for us. He says that enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Um, so we're praise the Lord this morning for he is good and his mercy endures both. Let's pray. Dear Ten and Heavenly Father, Lord, as we come before you, O Lord, this morning, O Lord, we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor, we give you all the adoration, we give you all the praise, Lord. In your word, it says, O Lord, to enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise, O Lord. We come in today, O Lord, with thanksgiving in our hearts, O God, in the name of Jesus, and praise on our lips to praise your name, O Lord. I thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done for us, O God, for everything that you're doing, for everything that you're continuing to do in our lives, O Lord. Oh, what shall I render to Jehovah for everything that he has done for us? I thank you, Jesus, and I bless your holy name, O Lord. I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, O Lord. My soul magnifies the Lord. I thank you, Jesus, for being the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end and everything in between, O Lord. I thank you, Abba Father. I bless your holy name. I exalt your name, O God. You're worthy to receive all the glory, O Lord. You're worthy to receive all the honor. You're worthy to receive all the adoration. You're worthy to receive all the praise, O Lord. There is no one like you, O Lord. There is no one that can take your place, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, Jesus, that, that we can lift our hands, O God. We can praise your name, O God. We can walk. We can talk, O Lord. Things that seem so simple to us, O God, but not, not a lot of people can walk, can lift their hands, can praise your name, O Lord. And we give you all the glory this morning. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. We give you all the praise, O Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, O Lord, that we can, we can praise your name this morning, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Abba Father. I bless your holy name, O God. I give you all the glory, O God. I give you all the honor. I give you all the adoration. I give you all the praise, O Lord. I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, Jesus. There is no one like you, O Lord. There is no one that can take your place in the name of Jesus. I thank you, O Lord, for your protection, O Lord. I thank you, O Lord, for you are good in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for being the I am that I am, for being the Lord of my life. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, O Lord. I bless your holy name. I thank you, O Lord, for your son, O God, that died on the cross for our sins. I thank you for sending him, O God. I thank you for the blood that was shed on Calvary, the blood that washes us white as snow, the blood, O Lord, that cleanses us, O Lord, the blood that purifies us, that purges, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, O Lord. I bless your holy name, O Lord. I thank you, O Lord, that we no longer have to make any animal sacrifices, O Lord, because of what was done done on the cross, O oh Lord. Oh, I thank you, Jesus, and I bless your holy name. I give you all the glory, O oh Lord. I give you all the honor. I give you all the adoration. I give you all the praise in the name of Jesus. I thank you, O oh Lord. There is no one like you, O oh Lord. There is no one that can take your place in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Abba Father. I bless your holy name. I thank you, O oh Lord, for being our Prince of Peace, for being our Jehovah Jireh. I thank you, Abba Father. I bless your name, O oh Lord. I thank you, Jesus, for being good to us, O oh Lord. I thank you, O oh Lord, for never leaving us nor forsaking us, O oh Lord. It says in your word that, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, will fear no evil, for you are with us. I thank you, O oh Lord, for always being with us, O oh Lord. I thank you, O oh Lord, for always holding our hands, O oh Lord. Through the fire, O oh God, you said that you will be with us, O oh God. So, Lord, I thank you, O oh Lord, for being with us, O oh Lord. Through the fire, O oh God, through the storms, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Abba Father. I bless your holy name, O oh God. I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. I thank you, O Lord. I exalt your name, O Lord. I lift your name on high. I magnify your holy name, O God. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for you are holy. Holy are you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, O Lord. I give you all the glory, O God. I give you all the honor. I give you all the adoration. I give you all the praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, O Lord. I bless your name, O God. I bless your holy name, O God. I bless your name in the mighty name of Jesus. You are worthy to receive all the glory. 
You're worthy to receive all the honor. You're worthy to receive all the adoration. You're worthy to receive all the praise in the name of Jesus. I thank you, O oh Lord. I bless your holy name. I magnify your name in the name of Jesus. I thank you, O oh Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, O oh Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, O oh Lord. I thank you, Jesus. Magnify your name, O oh God. We bless your name, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Abba Father. I bless your name, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, O oh Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I magnify your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I lift your name on high. In the name of Jesus, I was glad when they told me to come into the house of the Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I bless your name, O God. I magnify your name, O Lord. I give you all the glory, O God. I give you all the honor. I give you all the adoration. I give you all the praise, O Lord. I thank you, O Lord, for being God all by yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, O Lord, for being the, the, the beginning and the end, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, O Lord. I magnify your holy name. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus, that you forgive us of our sins, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, O Lord. I magnify your name in the name of Jesus. I lift your name on high. I magnify your name in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, O Lord. I bless your name, O Lord. I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, O Lord. I praise your holy name. I lift your name on high in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, O Lord. I bless your holy name, O God. I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, O Lord. I thank Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Abba Father. I bless your holy name, O oh God. I thank you, O oh Lord. I thank you, O oh Lord. I bless your name, O oh God. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, O oh Lord. My soul magnifies the Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I bless your name, O oh God. I lift your name on high. I give you all the glory, O oh God. I give you all the honor. I give you all the adoration. I give you all the praise in the name of Jesus. I thank you, O oh Lord. I bless your holy name. I give you all the glory, O oh God. I give you all the honor. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. I thank you, O oh Lord. I bless your name. I give you all the glory, O oh God. I give you all the honor. I give you all the adoration. I give you all the praise. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, O oh Lord. I thank you, O oh Lord. There's no one that can take your place in the name of Jesus. I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, Abba Father. I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, O Lord, for everything that you're continuing to do, O God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, O Lord, for your spirit, O Lord. I thank you for your Holy Spirit, O God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, O Lord, for your Holy Spirit that teaches us into all truth. I thank you, Abba Father. I bless your holy name. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Abba Father. I thank you, Jesus. I bless your holy name. I thank you, Abba Father. I lift your name on high. I lift your name on high in the name of Jesus. I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, O Lord. We're going to continue to pray, and we're going to ask the Lord to um, anything that's within us that we come in with, that he'll just purge it away from us as we worship him, that we'll come to him um, with, as an empty vessel, ready to worship him, ready for him to pour into us whatever it is that he has for us, so that he'll purge us from all unrighteousness and create in us a clean heart. So we're going to ask the Lord this morning to purge anything that, that on us that doesn't um, magnify his name to purge everything that's within us um, that doesn't please him to praise everything that to purge everything that is within us that doesn't praise his name that doesn't lift his name on high that hinders our praise to him so we're gonna pray Dear kind and heavenly Father, Lord, as I come before you today, oh God, anything, oh God, that's within me, oh God, that doesn't praise your name, oh God, that doesn't lift your name on high in the name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, that you purge, oh God, everything out of me, oh God, that hinders, oh God, my praise to you, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, that you continue, oh God, to purge me, oh God, wash me white as snow, oh Lord, create in me a clean heart, oh God, and renew a right spirit within me, oh God. Cast me not away from your presence. 
presence. Take not your Holy Spirit away from me, but renew in me a right spirit, O oh God. I pray, O oh God, that, that you cleanse me, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Wash me white as snow, God. Purge me, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, O oh Lord, for what you are doing in this place today, O oh God. I pray, God, that anyone who enters the door in the mighty name of Jesus, anything, any heavy burden that is on them, it will be it will be lifted off them in the name of Jesus. As they enter into your gates this morning, oh God, with thanksgiving on their hearts, oh God, any burden, oh God, that they're thinking about, oh God, anything that will hinder their praise, oh God, I pray in the name of Jesus that it will, we lay it down at your feet in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I pray, oh God, that you have your way, oh God, not our will be done, but your will will be done in this place today in the mighty name of Jesus. Purge us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Purge us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Purge us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. As we worship you, O oh God, as we listen to you, as we hear your word, O oh Lord, I pray, O oh God, that as we hear your word, O oh God, that your word will transform us, O oh Lord, from the inside out in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, O oh Lord, that we're an empty vessel, O oh God, ready to be used by you. Pour out your spirit in us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Pour out your spirit in us, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, O oh Lord, that today that this service will not be an ordinary service in the name of Jesus. I pray, O oh God, that you pour out your spirit on all of us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. I pray, O oh God, take over. Holy Spirit, take over the entire service today, O oh God. Not our will, O oh Lord, but your will will be done in this place in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, O oh Lord, and I bless your holy name for what you're doing in this place today, O oh Lord. I lift your name on high. I thank you, O oh Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, O oh Lord, for cleansing us, O oh God, for cleansing us, O oh God, so that we are ready to be used by you, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, O oh Lord, for pouring out your spirit in us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, in advance, O oh Lord, for what you are doing in the service today in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Abba Father, and I bless your name, O God, that we'll see signs and wonders in the name of Jesus. As the worship team ministers, O God, that whatever it is that anyone comes in here with, O God, whether it is sickness, O God, that sickness will fall, O God, that burdens will um, bow down at your feet, O God, in the name of Jesus. As we praise your name and as we hear your word, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, O Lord. I bless your holy name, O God. I thank you, O Lord. There is no one else that can take your place in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Abba Father. I bless your holy name. I thank you, O Lord. Have your way in the name of Jesus. Have your way in this place today, O God. Not our will, O Lord, but your will will be done in this place today. I give you all the glory, O Lord. I give you all the honor. I give you all the adoration. I give you all the praise, O Lord. I thank you, Abba Father. I bless your name, O oh God. I pray, O oh Lord, commit in the service in your hands, O oh Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus, O oh God, that you continue to be with us, O oh God, today, O oh God. Continue, O oh God, to show yourself to us, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to show yourself to us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. I pray, O oh God, that let your will be done, O oh Lord, not our will, but your will will be done in this place today. Holy Spirit, take over in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Abba Father, and I bless your holy name. I lift your name on high. I thank you, O Lord. I bless your name, O God. I thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing today in this place in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, O Lord. We're ready, O Lord, to be used by you as an empty vessel, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Abba Father. I bless your name, O God. I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, O Lord. I bless your holy name. I magnify your name in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. You're worthy to be praised, O God. You're worthy to receive all our glory. I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I bless your holy name. I thank you, O Lord. I thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Um, we'll, we'll call the worship team up now um, to minister to us.
Good morning. I hope you are doing very well. Everyone is looking great. Um, today we're going to sing songs. Today we just acknowledge how God loves us. And we're going to tell how great God is. And how amazing he is to us. So, I mean, you cannot really stand there without dancing to those songs. Amen. So, um, I know you all came with your dancing shoes. So, just get them ready to dance. Amen. Amen. Dance to praise God. King David danced. And King David's wife thought there was something going on wrong, uh, on with, it, with his brain. And God is like, really? <laughs> I'm going to close you, shut your womb because of what you've said with your mouth. So, please, I want to dance. In the house of God, there's nothing like, you know what, this is crazy. There's nothing crazy in the house of God. Everything is good. Amen. Amen. Dance and worship God in the beauty of his holiness.
worship your holy name. And Father, as we have praised you, we trust in you, Father. We know who we are in you, Lord. And we magnify your holy name. And we know that your that our future is in your hands. And that you've got a hedge over us. You're covering us. You're protecting us. We give you all the glory. Father, have your way for the rest of the service. Father, may you open the hearts of your people so they may be able to hear your voice, oh God. And that you may be able to guide them and direct them today. Father, we worship you and let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning, church. It's good to see all of you. Um, this whole week, this past week, we have been enjoying our children's week. Amen. Uh, the kids has a, had a whole week of studying the word of God and then learning how to pray and memorizing scriptures and asking all kinds of questions. And when I say all kinds of questions, I mean they had a lot of questions. And we are so grateful to God because when we look at these kids, they are really the true future of Active Word Church. And so our future is bright because we have kids that are grounded in the Lord. Amen. Uh, we are going to take our tithes and offering. Um, and we are going to take a song from the children. They've been uh, singing a lot of songs all throughout the week. Um, the song is, Oh, How I Love Jesus. So I want to invite all the kids to come up here um, as we... Um, as we sing the song so that we can take our offering. Come on. All right. Look at them. Aren't they beautiful? Yesterday was really, really good. They did a whole lot of things. Kids of all, all heights. <laughs> Incredibly talented. Just some on the piano for oh how I love Jesus. Come on, hide us. We need some men. We need more men actually. We need to balance this female equation that's going on here. So they've been learning about the love of Jesus, um, how much Jesus loves us, and how we extend our love to others. So, oh, how I love Jesus! Oh, how I love Jesus!
clap for the kids. This is really, really, really good. Guys, you can go and sit down right now. Good job. Good job. Good job. We're going to have to build a church for them because they have their piano, they have their preacher, they have everything. So they are good to go. Amen. 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 Uh, yesterday, the kids had a lot of fun. Uh, they started by studying the scriptures, um, praying, and then afterwards, there was a lot of activity. Um, they did some artwork, which is dry now, so after church, you guys can have it. Um, some of them even wrote poems for the first time. Um, I was looking at them, and I was like, you know, if I could rewind the times. When I was that young, I wasn't that smart. <laughs> but then uh, yesterday, we had a booth where we were supposed to, we were taxed with coming up with a poem. And the kids were not prepped ahead of time. They just, you know, just come and stand there and think about a poem that, if you were, to, if you were asked to write a poem about the fact that Jesus loves you, what would you do? And our minds were blown away. And I'm not even going to tell you because I'm going to let them do it. Because in five minutes, one of our children just came up with a remarkable poem. I feel like, you know, I, I was like, you know, you have to write authored by Benjamin Walker. So this morning, I want to call Benjamin to come and say the poem. <laughs> he did not prepare. He just, he just stood by the board, and then it, the poem just, the lyrics just started coming. They could rhyme. Well, I'll just let you, you guys sit back and relax and enjoy. Um, this is my poem. I don't have a name for it, but I'm Benjamin Walker, and this is my poem. Jesus is for us, not against us. He will not leave us or forget us. Jesus loves us. He does not hate us. Be uh, Jesus loves us because he made us. Jesus loves us. He saves us, he warms us, and he'll always be with us. So I think we'll continue the scripture reading. We are going to read today is their day. That's why today I'm not in my seat. I took my seat so you know that I'm not preaching today. Amen. Um, so Annie Grace is going to give us the first scripture reading. It's four of them. So when you finish, you can drop the Bible and then another person can use it. Amen. And as Moses was as Moses was going to read from John chapter 3, from verse 14 to 6 to 18. Okay. So if you hear her start from 14, she's reading from verse 14 of John chapter 3. Amen. Yes. Go. Uh, and as Moses was still at the shaking from the, in the wilderness, hearing sound of the sound of man, he whispered that that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. So God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So God did not send his son into the world to condemn 
Amen. Um, next will be um, Ben. The, the Bible is here. You guys can read the Bible. Now the tax collectors and the sinners will talk. Thank you. Luke 15, 1 to 31. Now the tax collectors. Now the tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to him, and the Pharisees and the scribes grumbled, grumbled, saying, This man receives sinners and eats with them. So he told them this parable. What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he has lost one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the open country and go after the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he was found, and when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying to <coughs> them. Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who need no repentance. Or what woman, having ten silver coins, if she um, loses one coin, does not light a lamp and sweep the house and seek diligently <coughs> until she finds it. And when she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin that has I had lost. Just so I tell you, there is joy before the angels of God over one sinner who repents. And he said, There was a man who had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the share property that is coming to me. And he divided his property between them. Not many days later, the youngest, the younger son gathered all that he had and took a journey into the far country. And there he squandered his property in reckless living. And when he had spent everything, <coughs> a severe famine arose in that country. And he began to be in need so he went and hired himself out to one of the citizens of that country who sent him into his fields to feed pigs. And he was longing to be fed with the pods that the pigs ate, and no one gave him anything. But when he um, came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have more enough bread, but I perish here with hunger? I will arise and go to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Treat me as one of your hired servants. And <coughs> he arose and came to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and felt compassion and ran and embraced him and kissed him. And the son that said, to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be your son. <coughs> what 
The father said to the servants, bring quickly the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet and bring the fattened calf and kill it and let us eat and celebrate for this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. They began to celebrate. Now his oldest son was in the field, and as he came, drew near to the house, he heard music and dancing. <clears throat> and he called one of the servants at, and asked what thing, what these things meant. And he said to him, you, your brother has come, and your father has killed the fattened calf because he has received him back safe and sound. But he was angry and refused to go in. But his father came out and <coughs> entreated him. But he answered his father, Look, these many years I have served you, and I have never disobeyed your command. Yet you never gave me <coughs> a young goat that I might, might celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours came, who was devoured your property with prostitutes, you killed the fattened calf for him. And he said to him, son, you are always with me, and all that is mine is yours. It was fitting to celebrate and be glad for your brother was dead and is alive again. He was lost. Amen. God bless you. If you, you cannot say that you don't have time to read the whole chapter. Okay. In a short time, he has read the whole uh, Luke chapter 15 for you. And if you're look, following carefully, you see that you see how God loves us. That, you know, sometimes we are like sheep who go astray, do our own thing, and then he comes to find us. He leaves the 99 and comes to find us. He likens us to be like someone who lost her coin. This old woman lost her coin, swept the whole place, left her lamb, wasted all the fuel just for the sake of what? One coin. I mean, who will really spend time on <laughs> looking for a coin? So God bless you so much, um, Ben, for reading for us. And all the kids are doing well. Abigail, are you ready? Okay. So Abigail is going to read for us. Sometimes I think we have to lower the, we have to lower our pulpit a little bit for <laughs> for the kids. I'm coming, so that so they can see. Amen. Let's give you a pulpit where you can you can see. First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13. And now a by faith, hope, love, we see, but the greatest of these is love. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you all. Karen, are you ready? Okay, let's give you another pulpit, okay? Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who knows love has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love this does, okay, whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. Amen. Hello. I think we can all sing this song. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. 
God's love is so wonderful, oh, wonderful. We sing God's love, God's love is so wonderful, God's love is so wonderful, God's love is so wonderful. Everybody 
praise the Lord, now I will praise you every day. I will praise the Lord. I will praise you every day. I will praise everybody praise the Lord now. I will praise you every day. Praise you every day. Everybody praise the Lord now. I will praise you every day. Praise you every day. Everybody blow your trumpet. Everybody blow your trumpet. Oh, blow it for Jesus. Everybody blow your trumpet. Blow your trumpet. Everybody blow your trumpet. Oh, blow your trumpet. Everybody blow your trumpet. Everybody blow your trumpet. Blow your trumpet. Amen. Amen. There is joy in the house of the Lord. Amen. Mr. Heaven is going to be like. Amen. So I believe at this point you guys are ready to hear the word of God from our our young preacher. Amen. Um, he's he's a future author. Yes. And now I have to correct myself. He's already an author. You know, you have to speak. For it to come to pass. Amen. And now if you speak it, you do it. He reminds me of when I was young. When my parents told me that there's no money to take you to college, I said I'll go to college. Amen. So it will come to pass. Amen. So let's um, clap for Jotam as he comes with the word of God today to share the word of God with us. He's been preparing. Amen. Created a slide saying so he's ready for it. Amen. Okay, I'm writing it down. Okay, he said he wants to get a real mic. Please get me the pastor's microphone, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Are you guys ready for the word? Okay, well, let's pray. Father, thank you for this day. As we do this prayer, we we all have the wisdom to understand. And give us this good time, my dear Lord. Give us an answer. Amen. Okay, so today's theme is called the love of Jesus. Um, so here's some stuff I'll cover for the sermon. First is what is God's love? Second is how God loved the world. Third is how God's love is described according to the Bible. How can we have the love of God in our hearts? And some examples of God's love. First of all, what is God's love? Well, first let me introduce myself. My name is Jotam. I'm in Oxford. I can read a few books, but I haven't published any. I also have a business, but I have it not yet published yet. But it will come soon. <laughs> I've already started. It's called Elemation Animation. If you want to just see my videos, you can just come to over to my house after this. So, um, yeah, and I've made a ton of books on Canva. One of them is called The World of Adventure. This is some more, and some other ones. 
Anyway, let's get to the song because you guys want to hear that one. The first one is that God's love is not taken for granted. Sometimes we get angry when somebody does something that we don't like. And so, but God's not like that. When we do something, he's ready for us to come back and talk to us. Now, everybody should turn to 1 Corinthians 14, 13. Okay, it says, And now abide faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. God's love is everlasting. It doesn't really wither. Because you maybe this might be according to some of you, but sometimes some of our love goes back when like somebody does something that we don't like. And now turn to John three sixteen through seventeen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So here's a little quote I made. It says, God does not care if you run from him. He cares if you run back to him. Some of us like doing our own thing, even me, but sometimes we have to actually say sorry to some of those bad things we do, and we have to admit our sins. So that's a little quote I made. Okay, now we're going to talk about how God loved the world. Now everybody can turn to Romans 5, 6. it says it right there okay for when we were still without strength in due time christ died for the ungodly so for and also i'm gonna also read verse seven here as well so for scarcely a righteous man would die would one die yet perhaps for a good man Someone would even dare to die. So God is not partial. He did not send his son. Okay, here we go. He did not send his son to the rich or the poor or just one part of the world's people. He came to die for every single person here. And he died for all of you. He died for every single one of you that are in the street right now. Okay, now, where am I? Okay, now turn to Romans 5, 8, which is close to Romans 5, 10. But God demonstrates his own love toward us, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Luke 15, 11, verse 31. This is the story of the prodigal son. I know some of you have probably heard this story before because Ben and Jeff shared the story. But I'll read it again just to take you guys on a side trip. Okay. 
Okay. Then he said, A certain man had two sons. The younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falls to me. So he divided to them his livelihood. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together, journeyed to a far country, and there awaited his possessions with sad ability. But, but when he had spent it all, there arose a severe famine in the land, and he began to be in want. Then he went and joined himself to a citizen of the country, and he sent him into the fields to keep corn. And he would gladly have filled his corn with the pods the swine eat, but no one gave him anything. I'm going to read this fast so you guys, so we don't lose time. But when he had came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have bread enough and to spare? And I perish with hunger. I will arise and go to my father. I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me one of your hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was still a great way off, his father pitied him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Bring out the best robe and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand and sandals on his feet, and bring the fatted calf here and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. And for this my son is dead and is alive again. And he was lost and is found, and they began to mourn. Now his older son was in the field, and he came and drew near to the house, and he heard music and dancing. So he called one of his servants and asked for a feast for his son. And he said to him, your brother has come, and because he has received him safe and sound, the father has killed the fatted calf. So he was angry and did not go in. Therefore, his father came in out and played with his son. I, and so he answered and said to his father, Bro, these many years I have been ser serving you. I have never transgressed your commandment at any time. And yet you never gave me a young goat that I might, might drink milk with my friends. And but soon... But as soon as this son of yours comes, he will devour your livelihood entirely. You killed the fatted calf for him. And he said to him, Son, you are always with me, and all that I have is yours. So I advise that we to make merry and drink wine. For your brother is dead and is alive again, has lost and is found. Here's one thing I like about this. It kind of explains in the little parts it explains in the my different the jeal jealousy and anger of the elder brother. So here's the recap of technically what the story is. Two brothers were living in a house and one of the brothers, the youngest, wanted to go out in the and get the choice of his inheritance and his father gave it to him. And there he went to another country, and he wasted his stuff on his possessions and try to go live in. He came, there was a famine, so he and he didn't have anything left. And so soon he decided to work for some people who fed swine, the pigs, the swine, and he saw swine. That's the story. But no one gave him money. So now at this point in his life, well, in his life, he's still living with that man. Just, you know, just need a place to stay. 
Okay, and then next we are speaking to a specialist in life back to his father. And his father welcomed him with out open arms and hugged him and kissed him. Now you can tell from Joel that he really missed his father. He was probably probably at most three or four hugs. Hmm. That's so sweet. And so now you can see he really wants to rest his son. And they sleep in a party. That is how his father showed love to his son. Sometimes we kind of behave like the prodigal son. Right? But in one way, it's too strong to ignore. But God's arms are still open to show us love. Now, do you remember that quote I shared with you a moment ago? That God doesn't care if you don't run away from him. He cares if you come back to him. Now, even if you're like the prodigal son, you still have a meaning in that quote. God's love is just... how. Now, number three is how God's love is just how. Well, that was this part was already how God's love is just how. And no matter how far you run away from God, he is still waiting for you to come back to him. And you can always count on God's love. And if moments and if moments you think you're lost, just remember that God loves you. Now how can we have the love of God in our heart? First we must accept Jesus. If you don't accept him, how can you love him? Now, you can turn to 1 John 4, 7. But I'll just read it. Just in case some of you don't have any Bibles, I'll read it. And I'll count for you. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. Second, you must read your Bible every day. There's probably some of us out here who just who just take their Bible and just throw it in the bin because they're shy of reading the Bible in front of everybody. But you can just read it and just make sure that you love them. You can read your Bible in your room or have a book but and just read the Word of God. But sometimes that makes it just hard. But you have to read the Bible to have the love of God in your heart. So if you're lacking, if you want it right away, Technically, not really. Okay, so third, we have to pray to God. Only God. No Buddha or anything. No idols. No Freemason. No Jehovah Witnesses. Just God. Now, and also put Jesus Christ first. And then, finally, some examples from God's love. Okay. Well, but so can we say, First Corinthians 13, 4. Okay. is long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It is not puffed up. So to see this and people who had who who showed love in the Bible but how but you have to have love and how first Corinthians thirteen four says so if you have a Bible you can like highlight that. 
Okay. And then finally, first dog fight game. So this is the Rock of Frost where you have to keep his commandments. And his commandments are not good or bad. So first, before we end, I want to say this thing that I've been wanting to put through here for so long. So, um, remember that God does not care if you were wrong or right. He cares if you are back to him. So some of you are probably running from God because you are not him. Thank God. But if you are, just come back to him. He, You can come back to him anytime. But to me, the time is now. Okay, so this is God loves to heal love. So remember, God made you special and he loves you very, very much. That's the end of this song. Amen. Amen. We are just going to do altar call. Amen. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus for the word that you gave us. Keep blessing the children. Your word says that let the children come to us, not to take away anything we have taken from them. Let the children come to me. Do not hinder them from being part of the kingdom of heaven. I thank you for what you are doing in our church and how you are raising these leaders and champions to destroy the works of the devil so that they fail in Jesus' name. Amen. If you are here and after the message, you don't know Jesus. I want to give you the opportunity. You heard it. He says that you have a place. God is still thinking about you, caring about you. Wherever you are in your life, you can still give your life to Jesus now. It's not too late. If you want to give your life to Jesus, whether you're in this room or you're outside, just pray this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you for coming to die for me. I need you, Jesus. Without you, I can do nothing. Come and dwell in my heart and be the Lord over my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, and God bless you so much. You did very well. Yes, you raised the bar very high. Amen. Amen. God bless you. And I know all the kids in the church will follow suit also. Amen. Uh, all of you have special unction on you. The Bible says that you've known the truth because... The unction of God is upon you. So all the children in this room, none of them will go wrong. I just want to share this um, revelation I had with you all parents um, before. Kids, let's see if you can um, give me silence. I need silence as a gift. Thank you. So today the Lord showed me this revelation. There was this young girl, this child that the parent did not know that he she vapes. You know, there is cigarette and there is vape, all the kind of stuff. And the child was doing it in secret and one time um, she opened up in public so the mom was there, all the family, extended family, nuclear family, they had a gathering. But the child had gone deep into it so much that she had become addicted. So in that gathering, this child could not control herself and she took that thing and was about to vape. Now, instead of the parents telling her or one of them saying she shouldn't vape, 
they were looking at them, and it seemed okay for them. So I told the child, don't do this. From today going, I don't want, don't, don't do it because it will destroy your life. And the child dropped it. The parents were there and they were surprised. And I stood in as if I was the child that was my own child. I want to tell every parent here, the children are not parents. You are parents. Okay? The children are not the parents. You are the parents. Don't let the children determine what they want to do. You don't, you don't say that, okay, you love them so much that you will leave them. Because sometimes we want to risk. We want to serve, preserve our image. And say that, oh, it's okay. I don't want to offend them. Please. You got to offend them sometimes by saying no to the things that are not good to them. Because these children have been given to us by God. And we are accountable to God if we don't take care of them. Besides, you know, they have a, a lot of good things in them. But the devil would like to sow things that are evil in them. And that is why you have been put in their life as a high priest. And they have been. So mothers, fathers, please, let our eyes go to the children. If they do good things, praise them. If they do bad things, rebuke them. If possible, take it out of them. They will only cry, but when they grow, they will know that you did something good for them. Because when they grow up, they are now going to be thinking like you think. And when they start thinking like the way you think, they will know all the bad things they did that they shouldn't have done, but it is too late. So if you, a parent, you step in to help them in that early stage, they will always praise you and say that, wow, if it hadn't been my father. Haven't you seen some, a lot of these um, great people saying it? Oh, it was my mother. It was my father. If my mother was not there, if my father had not been there, I wouldn't have come this far. Let your children say that you were the one that stopped them from destruction. Because God has put them in your life. That is the only last word that I just want to tell you. The children are arrows. We are going to destroy the work of the enemy with the children. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. So, I'll be calling the teachers to come. Yes, today is Children's Day. And there are some things that you're going to be giving to them. I think they have some gifts for them. The kids did painting. And we're going to be presenting their painting to them. Yesterday, you know, the, the, these children have a lot of things in them. There's poetry recital. No, poet, not poetry recital, writing poem, right? Usually, we have kids reading someone's poem and reciting it. We flip it. We want you to write your own thing and do what? And tell it to us. Amen. And we were able to accomplish that. So, I'm waiting for um, Rachel. And she's coming here. They've been preparing throughout the week, and there are some gifts for the kids. Amen. So all the kids, be ready, okay? Good afternoon, everyone. Um, so throughout the week, we had memory verses and um, 
different things that we did, and he just wanted to recognize um, those who memorize the memory verse um, from memory without looking at anything. Um, so all the kids, they, they tried to do their memory verse, and some of them did it, recited word for word correctly. Um, so we want to recognize um, Joe Thumb um, first for reciting um, his memory verse um, correctly throughout the week. And um, so we have something. Job, Joe Thumb. <laughs> God bless you so much. <laughs> and then um, we want also to recognize Ben um, for remembering um, his memory verse. recognize Karen um, for um, remembering her memory verse and for always um, asking interesting questions <laughs> as well. <laughs> Good job, Karen. <laughs> and then we have um, little gifts for all the other um, children as well because they all did um, so great throughout the week. Um, they were paying attention. They made sure that um, they were on time. Even some of them were on there before I was sometimes. Um, so they're always prompt on time. They're ready to um, get started. So we want to recognize um, Annie Grace. <laughs> Annie Grace, um, she uh, also did memory verse as well. And um, she always was the loudest one singing <laughs> whenever it was time for us to worship. So she always knew all the words to the song, and she always um, said the memory verse, even if she doesn't um, know all the words. She was always like, oh, let me try again. So she was always willing to try, and um, she was the loudest one singing. Good job, Annie Grace. <laughs> Next, um, I'll call Abigail. Yeah, Abigail. <laughs> so Abigail, she... Um, she, uh, every time that she was on there, she was always singing as well, and she prays, <laughs> she was praying really, really loudly. Every time that we were doing prayer, she was saying the Lord's Prayer um, from memory, so she didn't look at it, she was just reciting the Lord's Prayer whenever she was praying as well. So good job, um, Abigail. <laughs> Next, I'll call, um, I'll call Adam. <laughs> yeah, Adam. Good job, Adam. So, Adam, she's always on time. And I found out last week when I was um, at her house that she was always asking, what time is children's church? When, when is it going to be 6.30? She was always asking her mom that, and she was always on time. So, yeah, Adam. And she's a singer, too. <laughs> she always sings loudly. Good job, Adam. Um, next, I'll call um, Ikuia. Um, she, uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> um, Ikuia, she, um, she was always, um, throughout the week, and even whenever she was here on Saturday, she was always excited uh, whenever we were painting, and um, even whenever I went in there and they were dancing, she was dancing as well loudly. So good job, Ikuia. <laughs> Next, I'll call um, Joy. Um, I'll call Joy. So Joy, she's um, always asking questions as well on there, and then um, she was willing to paint as well and do all the other activities. So good job, Joy. <laughs> Next, I'll call Titus. Can you call Titus? Yeah, Titus. <laughs> Good job, Titus. So Titus, he was um, there, even though he was there a little bit, um, he was only there for the evening time because of school. Um, he and his brother, they were always, um, you know, like reciting scriptures and always willing to read as well. Um, and they were always so excited uh, whenever they came on. So good job, Titus. <laughs> um, next, I'll call... Um, Jeremiah, yes, there's something there for Jeremiah. 
Jeremiah, come. <laughs> yeah, Jeremiah, good job, Jeremiah. So Jeremiah, he's always running around, you know, and I'm <laughs> praising God. So, and even yesterday when we were painting, he, um, he asked me for help uh, with his painting. And then after I helped him, he just did his own thing um, back on his painting. So good job, um, Jeremiah. Um, next, I'll call Faith. She has a lot of energy. <laughs> yeah, Faith, she has a lot of energy, and she's always, you know, running around. And even during our ZBS, when she was painting, she always wanted to pick so many different colors to make her painting colorful. So good job, Faith. And you'll see the, their paintings afterwards. Um, they're right there. They'll show it um, afterwards to you all. So good job, Faith. And then next, um, uh, next, um, We'll call uh, Ad Adele, Adele, Adele. <laughs> we call Adele. <laughs> this one is like Adele. Yes, Adele. Good job, Adele. Yeah. You're the last one. Good job, Adele. So, <laughs> yeah, she was all, she was doing the um the studies of soccer is champion. Yes, so she won. Um, she and her sister they were um doing sack race yesterday and. They were so fast, um, and they even, all the kids um, together, they um, <laughs> they did tag war too, and they won um, against um, one of the adults. <laughs> so, <laughs> good job. I, I won't say the name. <laughs> all right, good job, okay. Um, Papa. <laughs> Good job, Papa. So yesterday when we were painting, Papa, he, he knew exactly what um, every the instructions that I gave him to paint. He didn't ask any questions. He painted exactly uh, what we told him to paint. And he was quiet. He sat quietly um, yesterday when we were painting, which is really good. <laughs> it was really good. So good job, Papa. <laughs> good job. So um, we have um, the painting, so the kids will get their paintings. Their names are at the back. Oh, yeah. Anna will mention for Joseph and um, <laughs> and Joseph and Glory. They were there yesterday as well, uh, helping out. <laughs> and I say, I say it at the end, yeah. So God bless you all. Um, God bless you um, to all the children and their parents for um, sending them out yesterday and throughout the week as well. Um, they truly... Um, did a lot, and I was amazed even whenever they were praying as well. Um, they prayed so powerfully, and whenever they recited scripture, it was so powerful. Um, so God bless you all, and God bless you um, to all the children. Amen. We want to also thank the Children's Church leadership. Uh, Dr. Esther is not here, but... Yes, the Children's Church leadership comprises of myself, Dr. Esther, Malaysia, and Anne. Um, these are the people that are all behind the scenes. Every Saturday from 6.30 to 7.30, um, they are rotating and teaching the children. We have a full curriculum. Uh, these women, they don't rest. They have a heart for kids. And so I just want us to acknowledge them. I know Dr. Esther is working this weekend, um, but um, and then Anne is also traveled to Haiti. Keep her in prayers. Uh, but then and then Malaysia is here, so please help me to um, recognize these women. Uh, Malaysia is a very Malaysia is a very very special woman. Several years ago, somebody was trying to address Malaysia, and she said, oh, Malaysia, hands that are never tired. And I want to um, acknowledge that because truly her hands never get tired. Um, you call her any time, and she's ready. Um, her time, her passion, her dedication, putting all of these together, 
because as you know, myself and Esther, our, our plate is getting fuller and fuller, and Malaysia has become our right hand. And so, um, Malaysia, God bless you. I feel like the kids, what, what do you want to say to Malaysia kids? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, their artwork, their names are not on it, so they, it, it, it's at the back. Oh, okay, so they can, yeah. All right. Jotham, your artwork. They were supposed to come up with uh, any art of their own that talks about Jesus' love. Titus, where is my Titus? Come on, Titus. This is good. Titus is a very colorful guy, you know. He made sure that he put his color in it. And then as Titus is coming for his, Benjamin. <laughs> all right, Benjamin. Benjamin, it was all about the love of Jesus. Benjamin has a way of highlighting the important part, you know. Yes. God bless you, Benjamin. You're welcome. Adele, Adele. That's how you can tell the difference between the girls and the boys. They want to use every color in the universe. Good job. And then this is Karen. Good job. And as you can imagine, this do you, who, do you think this is for a boy or a girl? A girl. Ikea, come here, Ikea, yes. The more colors, <laughs> that's the prediction. <laughs> All right. And then we have Andrew. Papa, come on, Papa. This is good. Definitely a boy. You see all the white parts. <laughs> you guys can guess. Is this for a female or a male? Look again. It has a lot of colors. It's red everywhere. Come on, Adam. Adam, come and see us. Good job, Adam. What about this, guys? You, you have green, you have purple, you've got faith. Yes, it has to be for a girl. And if you guessed, you guessed right. This has all the colors you can think for, girl or boy. Come here, Joy. Good job, Joy. Look at that. And we didn't even have any more space for colors because... We would have used all the colors in the world, boy or girl. All right, Annie Grace. <laughs> and then, there we go, Abigail. All right, Jeremiah. <laughs> all right, God bless you. All right, well, there is, um, there is a little um, get-together for the kids right after church. We've got all kinds of foods and some goodies, and so we invite the adults also to participate in this. Um, we want to encourage everybody every Saturday from 6.30 to 7.30, please put your kids on. Um, we, no matter how old they are, there is something to be learned. They ask all kinds of questions. They even ask philosophical questions, questions that as an adult I've never thought about, like I've never ever thought about, they ask those questions, and, and sometimes they got me thinking, like, how come I never thought about this as a child, and it's in the Bible, like, you read the Bible, and then they, they, they listen, and they have very wild imaginations, and so they, um, they're able to ask some questions, um, I think as adults, sometimes we get too familiar with the Bible, and so we don't use all our imaginations like we should. But these kids, they do have, they do ask questions. They've asked questions that sometimes the teachers are not fully equipped to answer. And so they have to contact the pastor to bring extra scriptures to answer the questions. So your child is never too old for children's church. Uh, we encourage all of you to um, bring your children. So we are officially closed. Pastor Hayford will give us the benediction. And then uh, we can stay a little bit if for a few minutes and just eat.
next prayer, please. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We are so much grateful unto you for all that you've done for us. As we are living here and we are going, we're doing our normal daily activities. I pray that may no one, God, be hurt. I plead the blood of Jesus upon everyone in the mighty name of Jesus. The blood should be a sign on you all. Your going out should be a blessing and your coming in should be a blessing. Your gates will be called praise. May God set his angels all around your walls. In other words, may God be, surround you, and never cause any hurt to come closer to him. May no noisome pestilence or destructive weapon come near your dwelling. May God preserve you and give you the strength. May God favor you. May your ears be awakened to hear what God has for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. May he who bless and no one can hurt bless you. May the almighty God, the creator of the universe, cause his face to shine on you. May God be gracious to you. May God give you rest in all your ways. In Jesus' name, amen. Go in the peace of God and have fun. Amen. God bless you. We are done with children's service.